Sewage inside a popular fast food restaurant to roach issues at a popular supermarket wherever our dirty dining cameras went this week. Management denied there was a problem. Local 10 investigator Jeff Weinseer has what you need to know before heading out to eat. Let's start in the Kendall area. This President Day supermarket located at 14778 Southwest 56th Street. That's Miller Drive. Management recently ordered to stop using the kitchen here. Their recent inspection, 19 pages. The inspector writes, quote, numerous live roaches crawling on the walls behind the food equipment and from the baseboards throughout the kitchen. In the meat processing area, old yellow food residue spotted on a bandsaw and a blade used to cut meat. There was black mold-like growth encrusted on an ice chute near the seafood display. We wanted to know why, but a manager wants nothing to do with us. Is there a manager in? Can we talk to somebody about cucarachas? No, no English. No, no English. Nobody speaks English? No. Cucarachas? No English. That's Spanish. Cucarachas is Spanish. I'm Jeff. I do the dirty dining stories on Local 10. Is there someone I can talk to regarding the... Um... Give me one second. Because I mean, I'm not giving you permission to get a... The raw sewage issues? We moved to the corner of 67th and Bird Road. This McDonald's recently ordered shut. The inspector writes, quote, raw sewage on the ground of the establishment. Both restrooms covered with sewage. Raw sewage issues? You ordered shut last week because you had raw sewage issues? She denies the issues, but they were unsanitary enough that this McDonald's was ordered shut. Okay. Well, okay, no, it bathroom. wasn't that okay. Was you outside. were ordered shut. That was outside. No, it says in the bathrooms. Okay. In the in the in the restaurant. Okay, I'm not giving or giving no more. I mean, sorry. You can't stand over there. My name is Jeff. I'm a television reporter at Channel 10. Our final stop is Pompano Beach, La Caravane, located at 560 Northeast 44th Street. This employee immediately got the owner on the phone. You weren't shut down last week? No. No, didn't have any rodent issues? No, no. Deny, 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 but according to this state inspection, there were rodent droppings here, 160 plus. 100 of them were found inside an oven in the kitchen. Can we look around in the kitchen? No, you cannot come inside. He's not fooling us. The restaurants mentioned were allowed to reopen following an ordered cleanup and reinspection. The Presidente supermarket was reinspected and allowed to use their kitchen again. But you have to wonder if the conditions would still exist today if it wasn't for those inspections. Jeff Weinseer. Local 10 News. And for a list of all of the places ordered shut, simply head to the Dirty Dining section at local10.com.